What I do see is a struggle of the decel pattern, right? So you do a tremendous job getting into that back hip, right? So this angle, fantastic. Absolutely love that. Hiding the hip away, you're creating a little more contralateral tilt than I'd like to see. So the angle of the shoulders isn't necessarily matching what's happening with the hips. So typically we'd like to see a little bit more parallel planes of separation. Now we're gonna move into that extension, right? So the hip has fired, you're now rotated into extension. Now, in theory, what's supposed to happen here is we wanna create a little bit more space with that upper half here. It looks like it's perfectly equidistant to the lat rather than you know having 10 to 15 degrees of separation behind you into that horizontal abduction that people talk about, which is where the arm moves back behind the shoulder a little bit. The next thing we're gonna to see too is, and this is where the decel pattern becomes really important. Notice the continuation of the lower half as we move through the delivery. So in theory, the goal is to rotate behind this front femur, behind that front hip flexor right there. 